Welcome everyone. Uh, today we will learn how to add a Windows host to a Cacti server. As you can see on my screen, uh, this is my Cacti server and uh, we are under management on devices. All right, on the left hand side you will see devices under management option. So uh, we, what we will do is we will add a Windows server uh, to our Cacti the server right so uh, essentially i'll add my uh, laptop uh, which is uh, uh, running a uh, windows os so i'll add that windows um, host to my cacti server for that what i have to do first is i have to go over here and uh, search for app and and features okay here in app and features you will find optional features and you have to click on the additional feature here you have to type in snmp uh, it would give you uh, the snmp option here and then you have to select that and click on install for my case i have already installed snmp feature so it is not giving that so if you can see the snmp installed so you have to both install the wmi snmp provider and uh, snmp protocol right so after you did that then you have to uh, come over to services.msc services right in the services.msc you have to see uh, the snmp service here is the SNMP service. It is automatic. If you are using SNMP trap as well, you can uh, run that. Right. So this part is done. Now we will see how to uh, add, a, add a Windows host to a Cactus server. All right. So uh, let us see for that. What we can do is we will see the IP of this Windows host ip config slash all yeah this is my ip okay now what i'll do is i'll click on add Here I'll add a description of my Windows host, my laptop. Okay. Give the IP. If you have FQDN, you can give FQDN as well. I have I do not have an FQDN, so I'm giving the IP. Uh, location. So what you can define as my laptop right and polar association main polar right and device templates will use windows device here okay fine and then uh yeah public 161 version 2 fine all these are okay click on create So you can see it is responding. It is giving me uh, the host name, giving me the contact type uh, uh, ID, right? So we're all good to go. Now, uh, these are the associated graph templates, uh, default templates associated uh, to the host template, right? And these are the associ associated data queries. So let me just uh, refresh all of them, all right? So these are getting re-indexed. Fine. So what I'll do is I'll save it again. Let's go to the graph list. Okay. 
so these are the default uh, graphs uh, right and i'll select all of them let me put it under some tree so here are uh, all the actions that you can uh, uh, do on this uh, graphs so i'll just place it under a tree so let me place it under text tree so under test i have only root so yeah click on root destination branch click on okay successful okay right so let's go to the graphs it is taking bit more time to uh, populate those uh, graphs view for me so let's wait for that you can see the graphs menu here let's click on that go to tree view all right on the tree view you can see there is a default tree there is a test tree and there is a demo tree so we have placed it on a uh, test tree uh, on the root branch so if we click on the test it should show up our uh, uh, show up our uh, graphs related to that particular host so you can see uh, this uh, this graph has been populated other graphs will populate it too but it will take some uh, time to be uh, get the aggregate data uh, of this uh, of these uh, graphs and populate thank you thanks for watching this video please do subscribe and hit the bell icon thank you